Welcome. This is Return to Tennis. I'm Aaron. Thanks for returning, guys. Uh, big, big shout out to all of my new subscribers. It's slowly creeping up, which is it's not something I expected to happen, actually. I kind of just did these as a video log for myself and my struggles, and now I'm doing racket reviews because, to be honest, I'm struggling finding a racket that is just perfect for me. Uh, I'm close. I got a few. There's a few in the contention, but we have a new contender today. Um, something I picked up really great on eBay. Brand new frame. The Dunlop SX300 Tour. This is the 305 98 square inch. Some Dunlop vendor on eBay was selling this for 100 bucks. It's the 2022 model. It's a brand new. Um, got some footage hitting it today. Hits extremely well. Very good uh, controlled frame. Excellent spin. Now, if you've played a pure arrow or the old arrow pro drives, this has a very similar feel. Because I've hit an arrow before. I feel a lot of similarities with this frame. Um, good comfort. Good power. A lot of good movement out of the strings. It has the spin boost grommets in the frame, which helps. I strung this with the Ytex Hexagon X, Fred Pearl. Looks really nice. Hits very well, very comfortable frame. Forehands were good, backhands were good. Once I got really dialed in, I had a lot of success being precise. Backhands, I hit add and do side. Forehands, I was hitting a lot of really great... Um, inside out forehands into the ad court but I seemed to struggle with no matter which racket it was I seemed to struggle hitting into the deuce court off my forehand side like I could not do it as consistently um, previous to hitting this one I'd hit the rip stick and I'd struggled with the rip stick but when I did my warm-up round with the Dunlop I figured out the problem and it was in my wrist I was not utilizing my wrist enough on my follow-through I was kind of stiff with it and it was hard for me to get the spin on the ball that I wanted. Once I uh, integrated my wrist a bit better, things went a lot better for me. Um, hits extremely well. Hits serves with it as well. I could hit the slice serve, I could hit the flat serve, I could hit the kick. It's a great racket. I do thoroughly enjoy it. It is weighing in at 328 grams. Uh, that is with the overgrip. The overgrip's about six. So that put the strings at 37, uh, but with strings only about 322, which would pretty much put it on spec for a 305. It is a excellent, excellent frame, guys. If you are a pure arrow fan, right, and you're looking at the new pure arrow and you're like, do I want to buy that new pure arrow? Do I want to spend that money? Because it's expensive. And you're not sure. Give the SX300 series a test. Demo these. They hit very similar. It's a very similar feel when I swing this racket uh, to the arrows. Um, not a lot of vibration in it. It's fairly comfortable for a frame. Uh, it gets excellent, excellent spin. I would say it's more comfortable than any arrow I've hit, but I have not hit the new one. The new one is supposed to be pretty impressive. This is a direct competitor for that racket. Uh, I like how it's yellow. Like the arrows, right? It seems Dunlop has followed Babolat's uh, grading system. Yellow is for spin, red paint is for control, and blue is for power. And that's what Dunlop has done with theirs as well. So, got some footage hitting it. As I said, I hit forehands pretty good, backhands pretty good. Uh, sometimes a little late, sometimes a little weight on the back foot. But overall, an excellent frame. I think I will probably play this racket this weekend. Uh, UTR is starting back up. I will have two matches Saturday night. Uh, I'll have an update for those when they occur. I hit this one fairly well today. I also, off camera, hit the Diadem Elevate V3 again. Kind of similar. I get better spin out of this one. But across the board, everything else is pretty much the same between these two. Uh, if I had to pick, though, I'd say the Diadem has a little more power than the Dunlop. But still a great hit. I really enjoyed this one today. Uh, I think we're going to give this a go. Maybe the Diadem on Saturday. We'll see. 
But take a look, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we have more racket reviews on the way. Check it out. All right, guys. Here we go. Hitting the Dunlop SX300 Tour. Um, I just finished hitting and filming the ripstick when I picked this one up. I had a lot better time with this racket because... Uh, when warming up with it, I figured out why I was struggling hitting the ripstick, and it was uh, had to do with my wrist position as I was swinging through the ball. It didn't all, it didn't help that sometimes I was on my back foot and not stepping into shots. Um, but once I started integrating my wrist into my swing a little bit more, I was able to more cleanly hit forehands into the court also hit backhands fairly well uh, produces a lot of spin it, it really does uh, it probably hits a bit better spin than the ripstick does or the twist power but they are very similar in that category um, I know recently I think Jonas at Tennis Nerd uh, for his 2022 reviews talked about the best spin rackets of the year and um, the Dunlop SX300, the Ripstick, and the Twist Power all made the list. Uh, they do all generate a lot of spin and pretty good pace and drive as well. I was getting a lot of balls deep into the back court, uh, both forehand and backhand sides. But just overall, a really nice hit. I do like the. Hexagon X from Ytex in this frame it is pretty comfortable. I'm getting a good amount of. Oh, that was bad. That was one of those instances where I'm late. Uh, again, back on my back foot. There was a little bit better. But I was really able to find a nice rhythm for hitting balls uh, into the bad side, like an inside out kind of forehand. But hitting balls down the deuce side of the court was a struggle. I couldn't seem to get it. There we go. I couldn't seem to get it consistently. I get one once in a while. That's see. That's what I'm talking about. Those. There. That's kind of more towards the center. I'm trying to get that corner. But see, I can get the ad side fairly quickly. It's bad bounce late. See, and that's what I do mostly off the ad side. Back foot into the net. There we go. It's a nice hit. Um. Like I said, it's very similar in feel to the Pure Aero, or the Aero Pro Drive kind of series of rackets. The way it comes through the air and the amount of spin that it hits is very familiar in that sense. If you've hit the, the Aero series at all, you will probably like this racket. There we go. But it hits really good. I was really impressed with it's a 98 square inch head. It is the tour edition, not the uh, standard uh, SX300, which is 100 square inches. Um, this one comes in unstrung at 305. So that's why I went with it. I didn't want to get too light. Uh, with strings and overgrip on it, it's sitting at about 328, 329 right now. But it is a very comfortable hit. Uh, I would say it's more comfortable than any of the arrows that I've hit. Uh, but I have not hit the new Pure Arrow. So it, perhaps the new Pure Arrow is a bit better in that respect. Uh, a lot of people have put the Pure Arrow like number one on the list for spin rackets. Some are going with the new the Head Extreme uh, as a number one spin racket. Dunlop seems to be consistently with a lot of people's spin racket lists. Dunlop SX300 seems to be sitting in the, solidly in the number three position on a lot of these lists. Uh, but it's, it is a very solid racket. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need to hit when I'm playing my UTR matches. Not my normal stuff. Like that. Again, back foot. There we go. That wasn't bad. Still on my back foot a little bit, though.
But it's a good racket, guys. I really do enjoy this one. I think I will probably play this racket Saturday night at my UTR matches. I have two matches scheduled. Uh, maybe I will get a third. We'll see. But the way it's hitting right now, uh, as long as I basically remember to, you know, hit all the points on my checklist on how I should be lining up beforehand, which is feet, balance, follow through, wrist position, you know, it's a, it's a pretty extensive list. As long as I can manage to do that enough uh, to get my forehand going, I should have a pretty good night at UTR. I do hit some serves at the end with this racket as well. It Naturally, it served well. I was really pleasantly surprised with how easy it was to hit a slice, a kick, and a flat serve. Like Sometimes you get a spin frame uh, hitting the flat serves or flattening the ball out is difficult. Not with this one. I was able to flatten shots out pretty quick on the serves, hit a nice flat serve. Uh, slice, of course, was great, and uh, I had some kick serves as well. Been working on my kick serve, trying to get the speed up on it, so it's not just kicking coming across as a top spin kick serve, but also has some some pace on it. But that's all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, get out, give it a try. May all your returns be for winners, and we now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.